Hello again everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a requested video and it's a tutorial slash review on the Polaroid Zip mobile printer. I'm sorry if I'm doing a voiceover, it's because when I recorded the video it was so loud and I couldn't use any of the sound clips. So here's the finished product. I think it's about the size of a business card, but I didn't have one on hand. So I used a um, credit card size to compare it. I got it in blue. It comes with four different colors. The blue one, the red one, black and white. And inside the box it came with one zinc paper, one pack of 10 of um, zinc paper. Zinc is short for zero ink and in the box was just the mobile printer, the zinc paper and the startup guide and the charger that I'm showing you right now. Um, the case is also from Amazon but it was purchased separately. For size comparison, I have the iPhone 6S and you can see that the printer is slightly shorter than the iPhone but it's about the same width um, but of course the printer is thicker. To change the refills, you just slide the top off, insert the paper and then slide it back to close. Let's get to the tutorial proper and I'm going to show you how I created this print with the text. And for this I used two apps, Fonto and Polaroid Zip app to print and we are starting off using Fonto. And then when you're in Fonto you click the camera button, plain image. I choose the white background, change the size, usually 3 by 2 so it's around the same size as the Polaroid and then you click that little arrow and then use so that you can use it as your background. And then from there you click on the menu, you add an image and then I'm just going to use the same image that I did with the sample, so the boy bag and then click done. From there you will increase the size of your image. Uh, I usually max it out so that it's about the size of your background and then add the finishing touches on the bottom part. Actually for this particular print I chose to add a logo so it's another image and then um, a Chanel logo. Let's use a different one. This one looks pretty good. So you move it around as you please and resize it um, to fit your needs. And to add a text you just tap on the screen, click add text and type away. This might be self-explanatory but I just wanted to show you anyway so that it's a complete um, how to video and when you're satisfied with your picture just go ahead and save it um, and then make sure your printer is on and then go to the settings and connect it using Bluetooth which in this case is already connected so um, go back my son is trying to grab the printer <laughs> And then the final app, you go ahead and open the Polaroid Zip app and you could either um, edit print or quick print and this um, I'm going to try to edit print so I can show you the features of the app. You could add um, filters and borders and little smiley faces and hearts but for this case no border. Um, no smiley faces either but those are the little stickers you can add they do have letters available but I didn't want to be 
restricted to that font alone so that's why I use Fonto to add any fonts. The final step of course is to print and let's go ahead and do that. Um, and then we wait for it so that the printer could do its magic and then voila your finished picture slash print. And here is your finished product. As far as the review goes, I do like having the option of taking pictures with my phone and then printing it later at a better time, especially since um, if you carry a Polaroid, it might be hard to keep the prints on the go. Anyway, yeah, I think that's it for this video. I hope that helped anyone who had um, questions about this product. If you have more questions, leave it down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!